you will need a well-ventilated workspace since we're going to be soldering. We're going to need the RC car itself. The specs will be in the video description below. We will need a rechargeable battery. The specs will be in the video description as well. We will need a battery connector to connect the battery to the car's electronics. We are going to need cutters for cutting the plastic in the battery compartment. We will need pliers to strip the ends of the wires to solder them together. We will require a screwdriver to open and also close the RC car. We will need solder to make the new connections to the rechargeable battery. We will need a soldering iron to desolder and solder these connections. And we will need electric tape to tape over the new connections. Let's take a look at how we're going to do this. Uh, every car is different. This conversion works well for two to three AA battery RC cars. Look for the screws that are used to keep the car in one piece. We have to take these screws off. Look for all of the screws carefully. In this case, we had two screws hiding in the battery compartment. If you're trying to pry the cover off of the RC car and it's not coming off, look for any screws you might have missed. Look on the inside of the car. Look for the black wire, that is the negative terminal and the red wire that is the positive terminal we need to desolder these terminals a couple of seconds of heat is all it takes uh, pull this off pull the other one off and then we need to line it up with our battery and the battery connector now check the polarity very carefully you can see my wires are crossed the black and the red are crossed so make sure that you are connecting it via the, the polarity of your actual battery, not the colors included in the connectors. Those can be wrong. Now we got to strip the wires here, twist them together, twist the connections together. So all of the ends had to be stripped and twisted together. And then we will solder these new connections and your rechargeable battery will now be in, in connection with the electronics of the RC car. Again, put the soldering iron under the connection, put the solder on the top of the connection, a couple of seconds uh, of heat and two or three dabs of solder is all it takes to make these connections. Once the connections are made, we tape over them. If you just put them in bare like that, they could touch other electronics and cause a short. So just put tape over the, the new connections and just to keep them nice and covered, make sure it's nice and secure. Put all of the wires in place. We're going to have to make a hole in the battery compartment to feed the battery connector through. Uh, so this is where we use our cutters to just cut a hole in the battery compartment with the cutters. We also need to remove plastic to fit the batteries and the rechargeable batteries are a little bit bigger than the AA batteries. But if you remove uh, uh, the, the contours for the AA batteries, if you remove that plastic, it will fit. Everything will fit. It just takes a little bit of patience, removing a little bit of plastic at a time, testing it out, removing more plastic, testing it out until it fits perfectly. The door should be able to close uh, perfectly without having to force it. Uh, then we move the, the wires out of the way of the screw posts. We put the cover on and we have to put all of the uh, screws or bolts back into the, the case. Reassembling the RC car, uh, everything should fit together perfectly. Put the screws in. Try not to forget the ones in the battery compartment if your RC car has them. Tighten everything down sufficiently. Uh, check the battery. Make sure the battery has been charged. Turn your car on and you should be ready to use it. Now the controller has AA batteries in it as well but I find that those last for a very long time. You don't need to switch those out as often as the batteries in the car itself. These rechargeable batteries use these type of rechargers. They usually come with them or you can order them uh, with them. There is the connection for the battery. You simply plug it in and there's a USB type connector. You plug it into power strips that have the connector. When the light turns off, that means it is charged. You simply disconnect it, put it back in your car, switch your car on, and you're ready to go. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share. Think about subscribing. It's free to do. It helps the channel grow. It helps you keep track of new projects that we share. Check the video description for all of the parts, uh, the description of the RC car and the batteries that we used. As always, remember, knowledge is power, but only if you apply it.